Good morning, grade 5 pupils. How are you today? I hope that you are all doing fine while studying at home. And this is your science teacher, Teacher Min, bringing you again into another adventure of learning. Before we start our day's lesson, let us pray first. Please bow your heads and let us pray. Dear Jesus, please show me how to spend this day sharing your love in every way. Help me to be kind to everyone, to play and love and have lots of fun, shining your light and giving your grace, sharing your joy with a smile on my face. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here. Ever this day, be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. May God bless you with good health and protection here. Here are the hygiene rules that you are going to follow. Either you are at home or in school. To avoid the spreading of the virus, it is advisable to follow some hygiene standards. Wash your hands very often or use hydroalcoholic gel. Did you know that this way the material that envelops the virus is broken? If this material is broken, the virus can't infect the cells. Be careful with the objects you touch and avoid touching your face. Keep a safe distance from others to protect yourself and them. If you use a mask, be careful not to touch it once you've put it on. The mask should cover your mouth and nose. Cough or sneeze into your elbow. Research is very important to be able to solve all our doubts. Moreover, we should thank all those people who are working and helping so that we can get back to normal. Would you like to be a superhero? Follow all prevention measures to protect yourself. Have you heard that? You can be a hero by following those hygiene rules. The speed of the disease will stop and we can be back to normal again. Norms and standards. Sit properly and listen carefully as the teacher is leading the lesson. Avoid yourself from distractions and no gadgets while studying at home. Make sure that you have your learning activity sheets in quarter to week 3 ballpen notebook as we go along with our lesson. At the end of the day, you are expected to Describe how animals reproduce sexually Differentiate internal fertilization and external fertilization and explain the importance of reproduction in animals. Did you learn a lot from our previous lesson? If you do, great! And try to answer the following activity. Write your answers on your notebook. The first day of menstruation is the first day of menstrual cycle. What is your answer? Correct. It is true. In phase 1, the uterine lining begins to break down and bleeding results. What is your answer? Correct. It is true. There are 5 phases of menstrual cycle. What is your answer? Correct. It is false because there are only 4 phases of menstrual cycle. Menstrual cycle lasts for 3 to 5 days. What is your answer? Correct, it is false because menstrual flow only lasts for 3 to 5 days. Menstruation phase, follicular phase, ovulation phase, luteal phase are phases of menstrual cycle. What is your answer? Correct, it is true. Very good, kids! 
I'm happy that you've learned a lot from our previous lesson. Riddle Game Guess what kind of animal is being described in the riddle? I have four legs. I am man's best friend. I wag my tail. I like to smell things. What am I? What is your answer? Yes, I am a dog. I have four legs. I have sharp teeth and claws. I eat fish when you feed me. I like to chase mice. What am I? And what is your answer? Correct. I am a cat. I have four legs but no tail. I jump and hop around. I eat insects with my sticky tongue. I heard only at night. What am I? What is your answer? Very good. I am a frog. I born in water. I drown in water. I am bloodthirsty beast. I spread diseases. What am I? And what is your answer? Correct. I am a mosquito. I live in the water, in the ocean, or in the river. I breathe with my gills. I swim with my fins. What am I? What is your answer? Yes, I am a fish. Before further proceed, let's see how far you've already known about the modes of reproduction in animals. Try to arrange the scramble words to unlock the vocabulary words. When one or two living things produce their offspring. What is your answer? Correct. Reproduction. Takes place when sex cells from two parent animals, one male and one female, unite to form a new animal. Correct. It is sexual reproduction. It does not need two parents to produce an offspring. What is your answer? Correct. It is a sexual reproduction. Takes place when a sperm cell unites with egg cell. And what is your answer? Correct. It is fertilization. It happens when the male animal releases sperm cells into the body of the female animal to fertilize the egg cell. And what is your answer? Correct. It is internal fertilization. When fertilization happens outside the bodies of the parents, what is your answer? Correct. It is external fertilization. Very good, kids. These words are very important words for our lesson today. Now, let's start our lesson. Sit back and relax and enjoy the adventure of exploring the amazing world of science. Based on the picture, what are the animals that can reproduce in larger number? And what animals that can reproduce in fewer numbers? Yes, the frog, the butterfly, mosquito, and cockroach, and the like are the animals that can reproduce in larger number. While the cat and the dog are the animals that can reproduce in fewer number. Why do you think so that these animals reproduce? in larger number or in fewer number yes correct because of production of eggs and these animals need male parent and female parent to produce an offspring and this is what we call the sexual reproduction in sexual reproduction takes place when sex cells or gametes from two parent animals unite to form a new animal. Frogs. Fertilization happens outside the body. Both female and male releases their eggs and sperm cells 
in the water at the same time. The male climbs onto the female's back and clasps his forelegs around her middle with mating posture called amplexus. In butterfly, the female and the male releases pheromones or sex stimulants into the environment. As the female lay the eggs, they are fertilized by the stored sperm cell and wrap into the cocoon. Reproduction of mosquito begins with courtship. During mating, the male deposits sperm cell into the female through a small pouch in her abdomen. After mating and sucking down some blood, the female will rest in a few days to lay eggs in the water, swamps, or any what sufficient moisture. In dogs, during the heat cycle, the male are fertile when fully mature. They act moody to other people and to their partner. And during this stage, if they fall affectionate to their partner, the female ovulate and they get pregnant. Cats, reproduction begins when it reaches puberty. These animals are likely ovulate when there is contact with male animal. In this stage, the female animal are much more affectionate toward people. The cats and the dogs are the animals that reproduce sexually. It always involves the presence of the sperm cell and the egg cell to reproduce an offspring. Fertilization happens inside the female animal, and it is called internal fertilization. The offspring have a combination of genetic material from two different cells or organisms. The same with frogs, they reproduce sexually, but fertilization occurs outside the body, and this is called external fertilization. and fertilization happens. The modes of reproduction in animals are sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction. In sexual reproduction, they need two parents to produce an offspring, while in asexual reproduction, it does not need two parents to produce an offspring. How animals reproduce sexually in sexual reproduction it is born alive or viviparous and they hatch from the eggs or oviparous in activity one you are going to write the viviparous if the encircled animal is born alive or oviparous if it is hatched from eggs write your answers on your notebook Chicken What is your answer? Correct! Oviparous or hatch from eggs Number 2. Cow What is your answer? Correct! Viviparous or born alive. Number three, duck. <coughs> what is your answer? Correct, oviparous or hatch from eggs. Number four, frog. Correct, oviparous. Five, dog. <coughs> what is your answer? Correct, it is viviparous or born alive. In activity two, you are going to differentiate what types of fertilization happens in that particular animal? Write your answers in your notebook using the Venn diagram. What is your answer? Correct! The cat and the dog reproduce 
through internal fertilization, while the mosquito, frog, butterfly, and cockroach reproduce through internal fertilization. In Activity 3, you are going to give one sentence stating the importance of reproduction in animals. What is your answer? Yes, the reproduction in animals is very important to increase the survival rate of their own. Good job, kids! You've answered well all of the activities. So, the animals reproduce sexually and asexually. But, we only focus on sexual reproduction through born alive or hatch from eggs. And some animals fertilize their eggs internally and externally or internal fertilization or external fertilization. And the reproduction in animals is very important because it increases the survival rate of their own. Animals can continuously make more of their kind. Some animal can live by themselves while others live in group. Now, research about the animals listed below using collective noun in English. Identify which group they belong to. What is your answer? Correct. The colony of ants. Herd of elephants. Army of frogs. Tribe of goats. And pod of dolphins. Today, we have already discussed one of the modes of reproduction in animals, the sexual reproduction. And tomorrow, or the next day, we will discuss about a sexual reproduction. Look at Ethan. He is taking care of his chicken in the farm. He feeds and cleans their shelter. But afterwards, he is washing his hands to protect himself from the disease that he might get from the chicken. So how this act greatly helped to us especially that we are facing the pandemic today. Yes, it is one of the hygiene standards that can stop the virus from spreading. Through this way, we can be back to normal again. Hand washing can prevent COVID-19 virus. Answer the following test. Read and understand the direction that asked in the test. Write your answers in your notebook. And For your assignment, you are going to draw three animals in a whole short band paper. Great job, kids! I know that you've learned a lot from the different modes of reproduction in animals. And I hope that you enjoy our journey in exploring the amazing world of science. And this is your science teacher, Teacher Min. See you on our next video lesson.